Yeah, I absolutely love it. First time here, and um, I had a really good tour yesterday through the city. I went on a little run, so that was super nice. And, and overall, like this was a country that I've always wanted to go to, and um, I'd never been but until now, so I've really been enjoying my first 24 hours here. Kind of tour for yourself? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So me being from Germany, um, I started racing the GPs over there, and, and you know I raced in Brazil, all over Europe. I've raced in the U.S., and then I moved to the U.S. And our busy over there, uh, our tra um, our schedule is so busy over there that we kind of just stay in our bubble and. With this, we're able to kind of go beyond that and, and explore different countries again, which this is what, I, what I've done while I was little, and, I, and I've really missed it. Yeah, um, obviously, it would mean a lot to, to win the first World Supercross FIM Championship. Um, obviously, the competition is really stiff, so we got to keep on our toes and uh, stay mistake-free, and then hopefully we can make it happen this Saturday. Yeah, obviously, um, yeah, this year, I guess we're having a little bit of a trial run, right? Um, we're going to have a bunch more rounds next year, and uh, it's just really good. Obviously, we just had one, but I just like I like the different cultures and, and connecting with fans that are, you know, outside of only being in the U.S. And I feel like that's been what I've kind of been missing, and it's just a good opportunity because not not everybody can just fly over to the U.S. and uh, spend all that money to come watch us race Supercross. So being able to do this and travel from country to country is something that in the Supercross world, I guess, is, is kind of new, and uh, I can't wait to see where this is going. Uh, we'll see. I haven't, like I said, I haven't served that much, but you know, if, if I feel frisky, hopefully get a little air. <laughs>